guys. Good morning. I'm so happy you're here. I have missed you so much. Let's see who's all here. Hmm. I see Isla and I see Tinsley. I see Juby and Enum. Sammy, is that you hiding back there? Noah, Selena, is that you? Oh, there's so many. I can't even believe it. I have missed you so much. It's been a rough time. All this social distancing and isolation. We can't go out and see our friends and we can't even go to school. Can you believe it? You guys probably actually want to go to school by now. I've been alone for seven weeks and that's been hard all by myself. But I've been doing things to try to keep me busy. Some of them are, I've been playing with my cat. His name is Max. Hi, Bubby. Me and you, Bubs. We've been all alone. Hi, Bubby. Max. Watching too much TV. I thought I might try to do some good for the community and make some masks now that that's become part of our everyday wardrobe. We have to wear them every time we go out. So since I was bored, I got out my sewing machine and decided to make a bunch of masks. I tried doing puzzles. But boy, did I ever lose my patience. Thought it would be fun. Kitty cats. A thousand pieces, not for me. Exercising. Living in pajamas. Let's see, which pair shall I wear today? Lots and lots of baking. Mmm, yum. Enjoying my new bed. Plenty of time for reading and feeding my soul. I even had a birthday in isolation in quarantine. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. It was hard, but my daughter, Miss Garcia, and Mac invited me over for dinner and they made it extra special. But we had to stay. Six feet apart. And that's a far way. It was hard not to hug each other, but we know in this time of virus and pandemic that we shouldn't do that. It was a good birthday anyway, because I know they love me. And you know what else is even better? I know God loves me.
And that's all I really need. Not just on my birthday, but every day. Eating. Again. Yeah, yeah, no. I did that just the other day. Oh, wait, hang on. I think I have some people here. I gotta go. All right, okay, Marianne. I love you. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. FaceTiming with friends and family. Can you imagine what it was like when I was a little girl? We couldn't just do this and see and talk to our friends. We had to be on the phone. It would have been much harder then, so at least we do have modern day technology to keep us connected. I've even been going to church on my TV, Pastor Trevor and all. It's been kind of cool. Some days it's just cold and rainy and windy and wet and dark and gloomy. And that's how I feel sometimes. A lot like I'm in jail in prison which re brings us to today's story <laughs> This is Paul, hey. who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. One day, Paul was walking with his friend Silas. Hey, yo. They were being followed by a girl who was controlled by an evil spirit. Her owners used her to make money. After days and days of this happening, Paul got so annoyed that he turned around and told the evil spirit to leave her. So the girl was freed. But her owners got mad at Paul and Silas because they wouldn't make any money off of her anymore. And they had them thrown in jail. The jailer locked them up. Oh, man. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was an earthquake, and the chains of all the prisoners fell off. Oh, what is happening? But Paul and Silas didn't leave, even though they could have. Several people decided to follow Jesus that night, including the jailer and his whole family. And the next morning, they were released from jail, and the city officials even apologized to them. Sorry about that. Paul and Silas encouraged the Christians in the town, and they continued on their mission to tell people about Jesus. See ya! guys max interrupted me and he pressed the trigger button anyway where was i oh yeah so this lady was following this fortune teller read your palm and we know that's not true because only god's way is our way god has a plan for us and that's his only plan not not what a fortune teller tells us but what god leads us to so she followed paul and silas she harassed paul and silas and Paul silenced her and drove the evil spirit from her because the Lord had gifted him with some of his gifts and Paul was able to do that. So Paul drove the evil spirit from the woman and that made her owners mad because they could no longer make money from her. So they threw Paul and Silas in jail even though they weren't doing anything wrong they were just spreading the good news of our lord they threw paul and silas in jail so paul and silas go to jail and they get shackled up <laughs> like shackled they can't move and i don't know about you guys but if that were me i'd be sobbing and crying and oh I, I, my head would be hung low but Paul and Silas sung praise to God. So there they were in jail. I would be miserable. And I felt like I was in jail a lot during this pandemic. Boy, did I ever want to get out all by myself, alone, quarantine. It was horrible. 
Anyway, they were in jail, like you guys must have felt like a lot this during this time. And you know what happened? They were singing praise to God. Glory, hallelujah, God. We love you. They weren't all mad and mumbly. They were singing praise to God. And there they were in jail, all chained and shackled. And an earthquake came. And they were set free. Anyone could run. They could run away and live the rest of their lives in hiding. But they didn't. They stayed. And the prison guard, the jailer, he thought he was in big old trouble because people escaped. But Paul and Silas, they didn't run away. They stayed. They told the good news of God to the prison guard. And he came to know God. And, and, and the police people came to know God. And they thanked Paul and Silas for coming to town and telling them all about Jesus, our God and Father. So, I just felt like that was such a great story because if that were me in jail, like I felt like I was a lot bored here all alone by myself, blah, 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 blah. I kind of felt like I was in jail. I wanted to just bust out. I stayed in the Word and I trusted God and just like things for Paul and Silas, they got out of their jail and their prison and they were set free. So will we be. So in the meantime, even when you feel like you're in jail and times are hard and you got to wear a mask everywhere you go and it's restricting and it feels horrible, just keep your trust in God because like he busted Paul and Silas out of jail, He'll get you guys out of this too. You just got to keep your faith. Let's pray. Father God, we are so glad that we believe in you. And we are so happy our mommies and daddies taught us about you. Because we know that if we just keep our faith in you, that you will lead us out of our troubles. You will take our worries away. And we will continue to spread the good news to others so that they may find their freedom too. We thank you always and we especially thank you now during this time of talk of virus and pandemic and mask wearing and social distancing and all these things that we never even were aware of before. But we know you're there to get us through and we're going to sing our praises to you even though we may feel like we're somehow in jail at times. We love you, and we love you always. Amen. So guys, unfortunately, we can't all be together. Virtual hugs, virtual hugs. Ooh, I love you all. I miss you so much. I can't wait till we can be together. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Do your schoolwork. Listen to mom and dad. Bye for now.